One of our greatest experiences was Cumberland Island National Seashore up in Georgia, because no vehicles are allowed on the island, but we were able to take our e-bikes over. So we got to spend the whole day riding around on the trails and with the wild horses and all the wildlife over there while not having to worry about a mode of transportation other than the electric bike. It was so easy just to roll them on there, transport them by ferry to the island, then ride around the freedom of just being able to go while watching everybody else not be able to ride and just walk. We were able to see more of the island because if you have the bikes, you can go faster and farther than you could by walking. Hi, I'm Jody Pope. We live here in Crystal River, Florida. Sandy Pope, Crystal River, Florida. And I'm actually born and raised in Florida, Lakeland, Florida to start with, but my family's all from down South Florida around the Keys. So there's a little town in uh, Georgia called St. Mary's and there's a Cumberland Island National Seashore. So you just go in and you buy a ticket to get on the ferry, nice. unload your bikes, ride around and they say be back you know at a certain time, you're back at a certain time. And when we were over there it was awesome because there were wild horses everywhere and deer and wild turkeys and the only mode of transportation was foot and bike. We were eating our lunch and I heard this noise behind me and I looked around there was a horse like looking over my shoulders like hey what do you got for lunch? Yeah, trying to take <laughs> her know, apple. Just, yeah, it was, it was really super cool. This is our living machine when we're off traveling. Home away from home, home so to away speak. Home away from home. Here they are, the main reason we go. This is a bike holder. This is also the back entry to the bathroom, which you can't really use when the bikes are up. We come in, we got a fall kitchen, mini fridge. Actually a pretty good size, holds a lot of stuff. Full sink, cutting board. This is our sleeping quarters. This actually folds down to the California King. We've got tons of storage, got a pantry for the kitchen here. In the back, you have the full stand-up shower. You have the wardrobe back there, and you have a full toilet that has a black tank and a gray tank for your drain water and a separate fresh water tank. The kitchen's great, but we really do a lot of food prepping first, and we like vacuum seal things and put them in the freezer. We cook before we go a lot of times, and we just pop it in the microwave. Camping over the years, we've always enjoyed the biking part of it as we pull up to a campground, we get our bikes. It's an easy way to explore the area without having to crank up the truck or car and move on. But with my hips and health the way they were getting older, that we needed something a little bit easier for us to ride on. And Sandy started researching the e-bikes and we thought this was gonna be a really good way to go. And the hay bike to us seemed to be the best value with the best reviews. We've had them on the beach, we've had them on paved trails, we've had them on gravel trails. We probably had them on service roads that we were supposed to be yeah. on, but we like to go with off the beaten path. And that's yeah. one thing that's helped us with the e-bikes, with our health and staying in shape and just the ease of travel. And we liked the idea of being able to fold the bike up. So we would actually fold the bike up and put it in a 50 gallon plastic tote and then set it inside the camper as we traveled. And then we would pull the toad out and put it back, you know, unfold it and take off. But then we sold that and ended up with our van and now we have this really awesome bike rack. You just stick it on there and it makes it a lot easier. Between the two of us, we have about 5,000 miles on our bikes. This is my second hay bike. I gave my first hay bike to our son and he has it. So, and then he bought a hay bike for his wife and so we go riding with our son and his wife a lot too. Yes, we're the apple dumpling gang when we all go riding together. So we were in Michigan at a family reunion on 4th of July. And on the 4th of July, all our family takes their outdoor vehicles, four wheelers and side by side. But our niece and, and her boyfriend wanted to take the hay bikes and be in the 4th of July parade. So we decorated them with the bunting and the flags 
and they rode the hay bikes in the 4th of July parade in Glenny, Michigan. Uh, riding those bikes is a great mode of transportation for us in this van because we don't want to take the van everywhere we go, so it's perfect to ride our bikes around. I think it's excellent cardio by yeah. using the pedal assist. It makes it easier to ride, but you're constantly pedaling, and I think the cardio workout from the hay bike is excellent. I was diagnosed probably two years ago with arthritic hips, pretty much bone on bone. So that was what caused me to quit riding bikes a few years ago. But since we got the hay bike, I use the bike more, I pedal more, and it has increased my mobility of my hips quite a bit. I can say my knees were pretty bad too, but I don't even get any medication for my knees anymore. And I think it's attributed to the hay bike of using the pedal assist and using my knees a lot more. We're gonna take our bikes with us when we go to um, South Dakota, drive around in the Badlands on our bikes and through Wyoming and Yellowstone. Wherever we can go with the bikes, we're gonna go. We have no regrets of buying an e-bike. They've been great. I've always liked to ride bikes and I could never get him to ride the bikes with me because he has really bad hips. We go for miles. If we take the e-bikes out, we're gone for 30 miles. We're not just going out for like a little ride. We've actually recommended these bikes to a lot of different people. We probably have eight to 10 people that have gone out and bought hay bikes on our recommendations. So to say we don't have any regrets, I don't. And none of the people that have bought them from our recommendations have really complained to us about them and have any regrets either. So we love the hay bikes. There's no doubt about that. No matter how old you are and how unhealthy or how much it hurts to get on the bike and ride anymore, that the hay bike will help you to actually get back in shape and get back out and enjoy nature again.